Hey everyone, so today we're gonna do a little a little talkative video. We're gonna talk about um, my personal weight loss and just health in general because I figured, let me share some stuff that I've done that has worked and stuff that people really don't talk about, um, you know, about women's health and all of that stuff. So we're gonna talk about weight, health, women's health. And my personal goals obviously because i'm only speaking based on my own experience the reason why we're here the reason why i want to lose weight um the reason i really want to lose weight is because i am overweight it is affecting my health um you know i just want to be comfortable and another, another reason obviously like based on health um it's not going it's not doing good for my uh health and so i just want to minimize health risks now that i'm in my 30s i don't want it to get worse so just acknowledging and just from there you know not put a lot of junk on my body and just be more uh active so that's mainly the reason i just want to be healthy and what comes with that is losing weight so that's why we're here <laughs> my main goals are my health uh, nutrition um i'm still going to the doctor trying to figure out if i have pcos or what's up with my metabolism because i feel like it's harder for me to lose weight um so we're just trying to figure that out and i want to know more about myself that i cannot figure out you know only the doctor can figure out um obviously strength and mobility again i'm in my 30s i need to start like stretching walking and all this stuff because it ain't it's going downhill from here honestly Let, let's be real let's be real it, it's going downhill from here and i gotta keep on moving because i feel it in my joints already and of course of being comfortable being comfortable with myself how i look and that's just in general how i feel so how much i weighed before starting this journey and how much I weigh now. So technically I started around February of 2024 this year, not in the intention like, okay, today's the day, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That didn't happen. Because you know, sometimes you don't wanna start working out at a random day, you have to work out on Monday because that's literally me. Um, I don't set it, I didn't set a day, it just happened. It just happened to happen. Now the way that it happened and I feel the fact that it the way that it uh that i you know stuck to it is starting very small don't on your first day don't do you know hard stuff don't do that because that you're not gonna stick to it we've we've all been there we're not gonna stick to it i weighed around 240 to 245 starting this year i started walking listen walking does more than strength well not strength training but like you know um doing like aerobics and stuff like that or you know random exercise walking will help so much and not only that it's going to kick start your wanting to be more active so i would start i would start walking two miles a day in the morning we have this little trail and it's two miles and also the one thing that i did that made a big difference was eating a shit ton of protein in the morning I did the whole protein powder. Um, I also do the Orgain protein shakes, the vegan one because I don't like milk. I don't like any dairy products. I would typically do like 40 to 50 grams of protein every single morning. If I could, if I can add more, awesome. Uh, but later on in the, in the video, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show and talk about like what type of protein and how much and the kinds that I've taken and all that stuff. But I would do a lot of protein in the morning. I would drink that after my walks and that's basically all I've been doing honestly. I haven't really been doing strength training or running. I stopped running because I started to do low impact exercises because I heard that say you have PCOS that can like cause a lot of inflammation and make you all puffy and it's gonna rise and it's gonna like um make your cortisol go very high your new stress hormone and stuff so i'm like okay let's do a low impact because we want this to be a fun relaxing type of deal so and not only by uh taking you know a buttload of protein in the morning i will only do that in the morning and then the afternoon to do my second meal like around five and i'm done only two meals a day i have no problem 
it fills me up. So I started at 240. Right now I weigh, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> right now I'm 212, so in total I've lost 32 pounds. Now, this is my goal weight, okay? My goal weight is 160. Um, I am around 5'5", five, five, like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. I don't know, on a good day. So, I gotta lose 80 pounds in total to reach my 160 goal. So, so that's, that's the goal. Okay, we're gonna talk about my current diet. Like I mentioned before, I do my protein powder. This is the current protein powder that I'm taking. I love it. It's vegan. It has it's gluten free and has a bunch of cool stuff. I've been using it for a while, and it's 20 grams of protein. So I do that. I mix it with coconut milk, and when I do have this product, I use it. I do the collagen powder, which also has 20 grams of protein. So that alone is already 40 grams of protein, and that's good enough to you know sustain you for like the afternoon or lunch time so i just mix those two together um if it's not the powder the protein powder i'll do the organ like the pre-made you know uh protein shakes they're delish i love it i use the vegan ones and those are also 20 grams of um protein so that's amazing love it and i you know sometimes when i want to be creative um, I add some berries in it because berries are, you know, less sugar and stuff. So add the berries, add the collagen, add the protein powder or the protein shake, blend that up. I have a little smoothie. And of course, I try to focus on low carb. Low carb. I try to focus low carb. I'm not doing keto or anything like that. I thought about it, but I'm like, that's not really that healthy if you want to, you know, if you want to keep a sustainable, you know, diet, it's not going to be sustainable at all because I still want to eat whatever I want. I just have to watch out my portion and literally whatever I'm putting in my mouth, you know? So I focus on low carb, anything has carb. I'm drinking this thing because we had it in the fridge. You think like, oh, it's green, smoothie, awesome, cool. But hmm, it has 63 grams of carbs. That's a little bit over what you typically would need a day's worth of carbs that is a lot um but i don't dictate my life over like oh my gosh like my life is over because i overdid the carbs oh I'm, I'm 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 gonna do that it's fine it'll be fine but i try to focus low carb high protein um i really don't really pay attention with the fat i typically more pay attention more of the carb so and of course typically i just do two meals a day the smoothie and the afternoon i eat my meal um, I don't snack. Of course, if there's snacks or whatever, I'm out and about, I'll eat it. It's fine. But when I'm at home with my daily routine, I don't snack. My smoothie and dinner. Also, aside from drinking the protein and everything, I do take the supplement berberine. Berberine is like an herbal supplement that's going to help you to like, I don't know, what does it do? I'll put a little info here what the berberine is. <laughs> I've been taking it for the past couple of months and I feel like that has helped me too. It kind of helps you with hunger. It kind of helps you with like, um, just prepare your body for like, oh, food's entering. <laughs> um, I take it once every, twice a day for every meal. So just two of them. Um, I get them at Costco. Berberine is like the herbal version of metformin of people who takes it, who has PCOS, who wants to lose weight. So this is like a safer herbal version of it. And so far so good. I've been liking it, I've been taking it and I do have, have felt like a difference that, you know, has helped me. Ever since, you know, looking at the labels because of the protein powder, I like it, I wanna do, you know, as clean as possible with the vegan and all that stuff. I got used to looking at the labels and just essentially picking my poison. Picking my poison, looking at the ingredients of what I'm putting in my body, what I'm eating, what's more beneficial, what isn't. I can find a different alternative. There's so many chemicals and additives and it is insane. It is insane that I'm just like, I just, who to trust? That's also a reason why I wanna be healthier. So, yeah. Okay, so the, the whole workout thing. Every single day, walking mornings you can do it at nights you don't have to do it in the mornings just walking get your 10,000 steps in because it does make a difference i swear within a week if you do it every single day if you're hitting over 10,000 steps you're gonna notice it you're gonna notice it. it's it's insane you want to think like oh just walking girl yes literally just walking in the mornings in the afternoons and just hit your 10,000 steps 
So I usually, I typically do uh, two miles and I feel like I hit like a little plateau. I'm like, okay, cause the trail like keeps on going. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep on walking. And I would, oh, and I was, I started to do three miles and that kind of like helped me to boost, you know, more weight loss, more, you know, all that stuff. So also what I do for a workout, I do these arm Pilates and it uses like certain, like a lot of like, um, muscles in your arms and literally within like a week and a half or to two weeks i saw a major difference on my arms insane i will link that arm pilates on the on the description and yes it hurts and burns but i'm telling you, you you don't need any equipment you don't need any equipment just your arms just your body and just do it for a week you're gonna notice I haven't been doing any intense workouts, any weights, or anything like that, or any cardio. I was told to avoid cardio if you have been diagnosed with PCOS. I have not been diagnosed with PCOS. I'm still in the process of seeing what is going on with my body because I do believe I have some insulin resistance or low metabolism because, you know, over the years I would work out and everything intensely and I would just, I would feel like a more bloated, heavier, fatter, and I'm like, ha, huh, why is it doing the opposite? So they say, you know, if you have PCOS, you know, your body tends to get inflamed and all that stuff, it's, you're making it worse and stuff like that. So, you know, cortisol goes high and, and all that stuff, right? Your stress hormone, it's like not, it, no. So I'm like, okay, so if you have any symptoms of that, try low impact, no cardio. Low impact is the way to go. And please, if you, you feel a lot better, honestly. You do feel a lot better. Um, I'm telling you, just walking alone, walking, not walking alone, walk with someone, but walking alone, like on its own, it's just it helps so much. Another factor that has helped me to lose weight um, that it's actually happening because before I would only lose like maybe 10 pounds, but this time like 30 plus pounds, like hello, never in my life, um, was getting more sleep getting more sleep or going to sleep at a certain time that's gonna help you to sleep more um, has helped me so much. By sleeping can also, you know, focus better and everything. It's gonna help with the weight loss too because your body's just resting and it's like ready, like it rejuvenates itself at night for you to be like, you know? Another thing that I wanna talk about, like, you know, I've lost 30 plus pounds, but my, my clothes are still fitting quite the same. And at first I'm like, I've lost this much weight, this, you know, this, you know, this much weight and my clothes are fitting the same. We shouldn't I like size down or whatever. But then I realized this is why do not get discouraged if you don't see it physically. Because if you think about it, if you have a lot of like fat to burn, you have fat in your organs, you have fat way in there. So the first fat that's going to go are from your organs and stuff. You're for sure going to feel flatter. You're going to feel like, oh my gosh, like, you know, looking slimmer but my clothes still fitting, fitting the same but that's because you lost the fat in your organs and your insides and stuff like that and kind of like when i thought about it I'm like oh okay like i probably had a lot of fats in there so maybe that's why i wasn't feeling like my clothes isn't fitting it's still fitting the same you're gonna have so much patience you're gonna have to have so much patience the only way that i have felt that you know sometimes we get a little impatient we want to see the results like literally the next day i get it but the way that I think about it is just forget that you're on a weight loss journey. Do it as if it's already part of your everyday routine. As if you're brushing your teeth, brushing your hair. You have to go walk in the morning. Don't think about like, gotta lose weight, gotta lose weight, gotta lose weight, gotta lose weight. No. Listen to music. Take that time of looking at nature. Take that time at looking at the trees. Take that time just to breathe the fresh air. Pretend that you're skinny already or pretend you're already at your goal weight and you're just maintaining your routine. You're just maintaining. And that is like one of the, my biggest like ways that has helped me to not really think about like I have to lose weight, I have to do this because this weight's gonna you know, be faster. And all. Like no, just let it be your everyday routine already. That's my only advice about like, you know, if you're feeling like a little impatient and also because we've all been there. We've all been there, I've been there. So I believe that's all I have to say about currently on my weight loss journey. Of course, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Yes, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and all that stuff. Um, I believe I covered pretty much everything that I'm doing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So thanks for watching and I guess that's it.